KB. Today's episode was produced by Going Global Agency. Give me a drop, man. What's you up, remind man? me of a good time. I'm drinking this good wine. Yes, sir. Shout out my dog, Zig. We'll get it right on this bitch. I'm going to tell you the chin level. Right now. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, Keep no, your heart going. Wait, give me the get global. Going global, and what's the... Keep Y'all got it right? And your mind global. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's right. Check, that's check it's right. Going right. global. Keep your heart going All and right. your mind global. Yup. All right. One take, Jimmy. One yeah. take, Jimmy, man. KB checking in. Kenny, brother, I'm at like, going global, man. Keep your mind going. Keep your heart. Oh, fuck. I'm fucking up. Whoa. Back. Got a special guest in the building. You know, this this somebody that y'all gonna know when y'all see him a lot of, he humble right now about it, and that's cool. <laughs> I, I'm glad he humble right with now. you, you heard me? You heard me? But we got West Bank artist, songwriter, Kenny Brother in the building, man, give y'all some free game. Yeah, I already know, KB checking out, Al Jazz, not to correct my brother, man, but Al Jazz artist checking out, yeah. KB. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate you for having me. Like I said, bro, humbling. You know what I mean, glad to be here right now, brother. Yeah, appreciate yes, you coming sir. to the Global and checking us out, you know, giving us exclusive, man. Sir. I know you're busy, so I appreciate you time, yeah, I brother. got it, for sure. Appreciate yeah. you for having me, dog. So, uh, we were just talking off air, man, about as far as, you know, just some life things, like, you know, we're going to start at college. We're going to start with that. That KB, you know, uh-huh. we're gonna start as far as you and the rapping. Before the rap, or uh, with the rap, we would say you had the love for the football. Yeah, before the rap. Before yeah. the rap. Rap, all right, we gonna start in college, then that ain't the start of rap. And start. Let's go all the way back, let's take it to KB, the ball player. All right. Because I can relate to that. All right, KB, the ball player, before the rap. Before the rap. Tell me what that's like in LG as you coming up, you're on that park, you know, yeah. with coaches. Play for um, Bonager Park in LG. That's where I play park ball at. The, the whole football dream ain't really come to I got the car. Like, once we got the car, my, the, the guys I played with that car, like Speedy, G, like I played with those caliber guys. Speedy so, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Speedy no, dog. So, playing with those type of guys, that kind of made everybody on the team, like, get this attitude. Like, we all could go to college, like, scholarship. We send them scholarships rolling through and shit like that. So, we send niggas really going to school for free off, you know what I mean? The shit we doing out here. So, a lot of us was taking that serious and. A lot of us actually did ended up getting scholarships and going to play football in college. So, um, yeah, football was the thing. Like before, uh, before Kenny passed, I mean, rest is so. Before Kenny passed, rap was nowhere on my radar. Like nowhere. Like I wasn't the rapper that was rapping at four, five. You know what I mean? With the like that never it never was a thing. I was always into English though. I was out in school, I excelled at English and Mac. Like, so I think it was more me being good at English and knowing how to put words together and know how to channel that grief. Right. That 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 kind of made the rap and shit flow more than me wanting to rap. Right. Like, if that makes sense. Yeah, you were just projecting what you see, but you know how to pronounce it, your words, come right. together, right. deliver. Right, my first song, the first song I ever did called Rest Cake. Mm-hmm. It was a English assignment. The We was coming back off winter break because Kenny passed the night of the championship game, the last my last high school football game. And, you know, championship game in December, you don't go back to school till you know, after Christmas break and shit. So right. it was an assignment. We coming off the break. I think the assignment was... You know, write about your, you know, about your break and shit like that. So, right. you know, that's the only thing on my mind at the time. Anyway, like, that's all I'm thinking about that shit. 
and it was a it was it was a poem I, I just found myself just just really just writing a poem and I f took the poem after you know after we turned it in the shit I took the poem brought it home and found the beat that fit the poem Come on. and it just so happened to be the Beyonce I miss you beat that's crazy and that's like if you go look up Kenny Brother Rest Kid, that's my first song ever like, and that's how that song came about but look at Man, that's crazy. But even that process, because I was just telling Jazz this off uh, that you seem like the type of artist that you got a lot of stuff written so you could just hear a beat and be like, man, I could put this verse on that. Yeah, that's 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 the case most of the time. Yeah. Because yeah. it ain't like I need the beat and I'm, I ain't really a freestyle. Like going there, like I'm punch me and let me just say some shit like that ain't it gotta make sense to me so right. it gotta make sense yeah, I know how like, just... yeah it, got, <laughs> it gotta make sense and yeah. i'm not knocking people that do that because they got so many that do that and really go crazy i just prefer to actually see what i'm talking about like you know what i mean and i see it right and like i it's, it's like creating a picture Visualize. type shit yeah mm -hmm. that type, that's that's more my style with it so let's go so we we there at Southern now, yeah. right? We at Southern. So after you know, growing up as a child, these things that make you, uh, and anybody that don't know, let let's stop that. In. How how you got the name Kenneth Brother? Yeah, like I said, um, my last championship game tragedy with with Kenneth. Right. Unfortunately, and. It didn't come right away. Like I didn't, when he passed, that was the initial name I went with. Like people were still calling me B. Like a lot of people that knew me from football and just from around. Like I said, I wasn't doing music. So it was just B. Like I was still going as B. That's why you hear like B, B. That's why it was B. You don't hear Kenny brother KB like to the back end of the discography. Yeah, like, like, really. mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it really was still B, but Shaq. Um, Radio Shack, writer mm -hmm. for the source and shit. Um, I'm not you familiar with him? Yeah. So Shaq actually hit me up in like 2016. I think I had done already did two out of the four Kenny Brother series. Um, I think it was like right around when I dropped Kenny Brother two, and I think he had just listened to it and he reached out to me on Twitter. In the DM, he was like, yo, bro, um, I think you should, like, you know, like, the B kind of broad, like, for a rap name. Like, just going by B is kind of, like, broad and, you know. Could be anybody. Just right, man. looking up B, like, you feel me? He said, I think you should go by Kenny Brother. You feel me? And at this time, I was already in a song saying, Kenny Brother, nigga, like, Kenny, like, forever Kenny Brother. The Kenny Brother just was attached to basically every verse, every song. Nice. And it kind of made sense, so... I just, you know what I mean? I started saying it more and started changing. Like when I upload music, Kenny Brother, that I was still on SoundCloud at the time. So uploading the songs, I changed the SoundCloud name to Kenny Brother. And, you know, shit, it, it, it stood out more. Like, you feel me? And it, 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 it made sense. So, like, shout out to Mac for that. He really brought it to my attention. I was saying it, but to actually go by that name, yeah, it, it, it made a lot of sense. And it, yeah, shout out, bro, for sure. Man. Yeah, but so, it's definitely for Kenneth. Yeah, you know I mean, and that's that was my motivation for the rap shit. So I feel like that was an easy, that was a no brainer, like great sure idea. Sure, that for your dog, like yeah. your legacy. For sure. So, for sure. At what point, you know, you play ball, you chasing that dream. Mm -hmm. At what point, at Southern, did you sit there and say, Nah, this shit ain't gonna work out, and I just gotta switch it up, man? This I remember that vividly. Also sitting there, and I had to, I had to decline like, like four or five performances mm -hmm. in New Orleans. Yeah, I had to put the. I couldn't really capitalize like off the songs that made me who I was in New Orleans, like right. the hella holes, the G, oh, like oh, just yeah. like that, like. Oh. Just to name a few, like it was a lot of songs that I couldn't really 
push at the time, like, because I was on scholarship, so it couldn't really be this type of video. Uh, mm. I wasn't in New Orleans at the time. We had a game. We was out of town. Like, I was really in football. Like, I was a starter. Like, I wasn't just on the team. Like, you playing, like, I'm, I'm playing. Like, yeah. if I miss, they gonna know I'm not there. Like, you feel yeah. me? I'm, I'm, so it was a lot of things I couldn't do that I feel like that was the peak of, you know what I mean? That was the peak of my career. I couldn't really capitalize off those things. Like, Stopping you feel me? Stopping the bread. So at that moment, and at that moment, I, when I noticed it, I still didn't initially quit because it still was this, this thought of what everybody else go think. Like, I still was thinking what my mom would go think, what my coaches go think, what everybody back home. You know, it still was this. Trying to let them down. So. Right, right. It still was that, but they not understanding what's going on at the time. Like, they not understanding. Like, I got a whole nother world that's going crazy. And, like, football, yeah, it's okay. It's cool, like, but. As much as I liked it, like, I didn't, that, that wasn't, I, it wasn't no NFL dreams for me. Like, I wasn't one of those guys that was trying to even be on nobody's schedule like that. Like, football, a tight schedule. Like, yeah. high school is a tight schedule. College is a tight schedule because it's like, it's a business now. We paying you to go to school. We paying you to do this and that. We need you to do this, this yeah, and right. that. Like, Coach could get fired. Like, right. And, like, study hard, this, this and that shit. You can't. The the amount of shit I did to like do music with college football, though nobody I'll never know. Like the four a.m. trips from BR to Southern, like I recorded. Here's a reason to hate the this yeah. on Kenny. I recorded. Here's a reason to hate. And I wish I wish Trey Pine was still in here because he recorded. We recorded at his crib on two row, and he brung me back to Southern, like four in the morning. And I had workouts at like 5.30. No I'm talking Trey flooring it. I'm sleeping and everything. Wake up in front of Southern. Run through the front of the thing. Go get dressed and I'm in workouts. I catch you That's night. fire. Son. Dropped it. Recorded. That that's fire, bro. Like, real talk. Like, real. That's that's a true story. Recorded that and was at workouts the next month. Y'all really. Yeah. 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 Like, that's how I know that's what I really wanted to do. And it wasn't yeah. like really football. I wasn't, wasn't gonna into make it to football. The league I wasn't, that, but I could with this artist. Right. I wasn't dedicated to football how I was to like the energy and the reactions from the music shit. Like that shit was feeling, it was different. Yeah. It was different. We'll get back into that NIL. I got a question myself because mm -hmm. I see it now. You was one of the first when the artists as far as really tapping into going to perform at junior high and back at the high school. Oh, yeah. Like, like what was definitely like 17, 18, like you would have shows at OP Walk, yeah. uh, you know. And that actually started with uh my my guy Red, a guy that went to West Jeff. Okay. He used to go to West Jeff and he got hired as a football coach. And just was trying to, you know, spark up the school, like bring, you know, bring some swag to the school. He pitched the idea to the staff, do a pep rally. And I got, you know, my guy go come, you know, come. It wasn't even a performance. Oh, word, word, word. It wasn't even a, it wasn't even a performance. He actually, like, it was a real pep rally. We got on the mic, me, Els, Nico, and Trey Pound. That's around the time we had just dropped the We Stay Lit uh, mm -hmm. compilation tape. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we had just dropped that. And Ray had us come through. We separated. We in the crowd with the kids, like, you know, getting them lit, juniors, seniors, freshmen, like, just doing pep rally things. And it was, and I guess, like, everybody that, um, all the schools that, you know, saw the video people that was, you know, young, that was working at high schools kind of started tapping in. Yeah. That's how we ended up going to Landry Walker. My dog Rob hit me up, the, the basketball coach. Yeah. He hit me up like, you know, KB, you and Els come through. Same thing happened now. We came there for a pet rally. They ended up playing What's the Move, shit like that at the end. Turned it up. Just, you know, just going and interact with the kids and doing shit like that, you go always win because they got to grow up. That's the kids that got to go to college, go out of town. They go bring that with them. Like, right. you showing them you with them, they go show you, you know what I mean? The same luck. Really getting out there, touching them. Right, right. Like, touching the people. So let's get back into, you know, as far as it's stopping your bread 
man, you know, you having that energy to really, you know, tap into the, the game with the artistry. You see the game now. You got a little brother who, who, who you know, playing ball. Yeah. This NIL, you know, as far as the NIL money, man, that you could, you know, you got a little brother that's playing ball right now that you could be tap, tapped into as far as being an athlete that's starting mm -hmm. and making music that, you know, people where you come from your region, right. just, they turned up on. Yeah, New Orleans was definitely tapped in. That, I feel like if NIL was was in when I was playing football, I probably would have still been playing football. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I probably, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how it would have went, but I know it definitely would have helped out what I was doing. Like, I would have been, I felt like I would have been able to do both and it would have been like a comfortable, like both. Like it wasn't, oh, I don't want to be at one and, and I really want to be one. Like I, they, they would have meshed perfectly. Like. So, they compensated what you deserve and right, type. Right, right. But DI, HBCU, they pushing them. Yeah, but I'm glad it is around. I'm glad it is around and glad that, you know, college at least are getting paid now because that college life is different. Like, you locked on that schedule. Like, you know what I mean? You know it ain't no bread, but the bread they get y'all. Like, you ain't doing nothing but football things. Like, uh, and you might think it's just for a season, but football year round. Like, after that break, not. you back for spring work. I was. That lead into summer workouts, summer workouts lead into the season. Like, it don't, life. It don't stop, though. Real life, a minimal break. It don't stop. So, let, let's let's fast forward it to right now, then. We're going to get back into the one that popped you off. We're going to get into all that. Mm -hmm. Let's fast forward to back outside, then. Yeah. What was that process like as far as bringing that together? That process, it was, it was good, and it felt extra good. Cause it was, it was post iron in the crease with with my bro else, like you know what I mean. So for us to get back together and was able, and that's not even you know what I mean. That was just a little piece of the work that we really got, like so. Yeah. For us to get together and work how we worked, it just brung back kind of like an old feel. Like that's why we kind of named it back outside, cause you know what I mean. It was like a little. So a period of time would it just went flat, but now like it's just bad crazy with bro. So I'm yeah. glad to get that out there. That process was crazy. Um the beat selection, it was kinda random. Like it wasn't no sit down, like let's listen to these beats and just pick. Like one of the songs he brung to me, like I got this, like, you know, and I you know, walked on the back and of it saying with me, I had a song. We did Come something in there, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't no like nothing really strategic with it. We just had some some songs we really liked, and we uh, shake some. We had shake some. We actually did that. How did we do that? Oh, we did that. Me, Els, and Jizzle. We did do that. Yeah, we we were in the studio one day. Actually, we were in Tulane. I forgot forgot where we was at in here, but that we was together when we did that so That's you know like you yeah you like you said we we're talking about it. i was like man you got anything anybody like no i'm cool with everybody you yeah, know and yeah, you show yeah. that your music you got a song with treat with treating them too yeah, yeah you know you got a you got a yeah. lot of songs as you collab with everybody and we definitely supposed to have more but um the song with me and we did that with with currency yeah, yeah on currency the on currency tape. tape yeah shout out currency for even hitting us up to you know what i mean come through and do that that experience was crazy too that's fire that bro. was definitely fire. fire so let's go back like you said kb2 that's when you starting to get the kind of brother name yeah right yeah. developing that buzz you got people like that like radio shack that's looking out like hey Hey, you on the radar. Yeah. You know, how you how you stay humble through all this? You know, you even got a tape with a humble over hype. How you what, what, how you remain calm through all this? Cause I just I mean, it kinda through life experience as just knowing like God could give you that shit, but he could take it. Yeah, you know I mean, like the same way. So never let my highs give me too high, never let my lows give me too low and just stay stay balanced with this shit. That's some game, nigga. That's it. You give it, you can take it away. That's facts. That's the main reason, though. But yeah, I, I don't ever 
like to feel like I'm bigger than nobody. Like, it feels like good, you know what I mean? I never like to feel like that. I never feel like somebody just supposed to do something just because, you know what I mean? This, that, that ain't, yeah, that ain't me, like. Man, so I appreciate you coming on our platform, man. Uh, smaller platform, sure. talking some game with us. Smaller, so, this, this, nah, this shit gonna be bigger than ever. Yeah, this right. shit gonna be no, bigger than ever. Don't even look at it like that, like a smaller platform. Uh, nah, uh, fuck no, shit. man. This shit gonna, this, 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 this it. We on, we on your platform. Right, man. right. You gotta say smart. We are, we here. Right, you right. Me? You on, you on bigger platforms now. You on Fox. Wherever. We ain't worried Wherever. about none of that. You sure. know, you you know you 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 expanded with two thousand what is that's nineteen where you publish it. Yeah. Right? This yeah. this the dance everybody doing. You on Madden. My kid do the dance. All the kids at the playground do the Shout dance. Shout out my bro Gritty, man. That's uh that's just was a, a nice collaborative effort by me by me and bro. Like I said, it was first doing the gritty to what's the move. Like, like yeah. when you say the pep rallies and shit, gritty wasn't even out at the time. The song gritty. Right. Hey. It was doing it to the song what's the move and just seeing the energy and how they was reacting. And, you know, like gritty was basically the signature dance for what's the move. So I made a signature song for gritty. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah, you knew what your people wanted. And... You know what I mean? That hey. helped me and bro out. You feel me? Really him. So that pop, I'm good with it right now. That pop, that's that's bringing you into to new doors, man. I look on your IG one day, you in New York. Yeah. You know what you've been working on. You ain't gotta give them too much of the songs. I know you keep it keep it tight to the vest, but what you got coming up next for them, man? Back outside, out. You turn back up. Um. I mean, I got a, another collaborative project coming out. I ain't going to say with who. Come on, another one. On the head. And a solo project. Like, I feel like, like I told you um, earlier, I'm just going off energies. Yeah. Just trying to do this one a little different. You know what I mean? Work with different people, just different sounds. Shout out Jazz. She put the, the bug in my ear. It's just sticking that I like, though, that just to working with different producers, different engineers. So we're going to get out of shot before we actually go project mode. I think I'm going to still feed the singles, visuals, collaborative projects, you know what I mean? But next time I drop a solo project, like I feel like that's going to speak, you know what I mean? It's going to speak a lot of volume. So yeah, you got Catalog, KB4, yeah. uh, Timeless. That's why I feel like I could take my time, but never take too much time to why I ain't doing nothing, but as far as another solo project, yeah. Man, it's on the way. Man. It's I appreciate way. it, man. For sure, for sure, though. I appreciate you for Real good life, shit. Y'all yeah, go check that out, man. Back outside, Kenneth Brother, go check out the whole catalog, because he got a lot. Whole catalog. Elephant in the room, loaded. Oh yeah, you say you want what, what, what fade away. You? That's my favorite song, bro. Loaded and fade away. Why, that, why that's your favorite song? That fadeaway is just the flow. First of all, fadeaway, that's just like the flow. Like I could, I could, I just spend a lot of time just you not know, working retail, riding, yeah. riding to work, riding the night, it's still piff down, listening to that fadeaway. Huh, bro? Real life, oh I care, like yeah. yeah. I back yeah. out a star in my book, like, it just, it just, you Dope, make stuff yeah. I can ride to. That's what's up. Track man. with millions. Yeah. I came before uh, intro. That's a monster. Nah, he, what's your favorite song? Then? Like, as far as you, like, talk to your fans. Like, what's what's that one for you that you proud of that you made? Um, I get asked that a lot, and I feel like my answer change in my head every time. What it is today, the energy be. It's gonna be the first one coming to your head. All them songs you got. I mean, it's always little do you know, like. As I always let her do you know, but if a song I recommend to anybody around the world, just go listen to is Rule the World. Rule the World. And that's a remix, that's what I'm saying. I tell them, go listen to Rule the World. Yeah. And you'll hear some shit, you'll hear some shit. But let her do you know, though, for it's like a song I made, original beat, shout out Rob 2B. Yeah. 
Yeah, let it be, you know. Yeah, rap to be produced. That song. That's like my favorite song ever. Turn. Man, I'm gonna ask you an old question from the game before I even get out of here. Cause that story crazy, like right now. I'm pitching it in my head, like I play ball in the stand, playing ball, I'm chasing that. Now, nah, man, this ball stopping my paper. I could go do four or five shows right. and I'm really tapped. Then you meet somebody like Trey, all right, four in the morning and get back to ball workouts, five in the morning. You turn, you got something. Like the gritty that really solidified like your career. Yeah. Like for the long standing, you know what I'm saying? Even though I know you still at it now. That's for sure. Like from that, it's 2022, 20, 17. Like I know I've been on your music since then, right? Mm-hmm. So where you see it, like where you see it at? 2027, 20, like you got you got a team, you got gritty out, like you say, Trey all tapped in you. 2027, 20, what that is? That's five, five years, years from now. Yeah, I see it. I see. I gotta get a song with Hov. Yeah. I need a yeah, I need a much. verse with her. Hov, uh, I feel like I'm I'm worthy of a whole verse. Come on. I have to spit some shitty to fuck with. Man, lost somebody. Y'all need to yeah. put that in motion. Hov, man. Wayne. I need a verse with both of them for sure. Yeah, I like that. That come that complete this shit for sure. sure. And you will make a rap. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Fucking right. Fucking right. You best believe it. I feel like that happened. I completed with this with the music shit. Real life. I'm completed. Not saying I stop. Fuck. Who knows? But that's definitely on my bucket list with music. Get a V from them too. That shit gonna happen. That's how, that's what it's about. Yeah. It's about us looking at this later. Exactly. And like down. I can see it now. That's why I'm saying it, looking at it, kind of saying exactly how I'm gonna be looking like when I say it, I was gonna get that. Say less, man. I ain't got nothing else to say, man. That's <laughs> kidding, brother. Go ahead, glue. My man. dog. When you tell me it's mine, it's a picture perfect moment. Had to capture the time. How you doing? Feel so holy. Turning water to wine. Turn your phone off, baby. Trying to have a good time. I'm gonna make sure we fly. I'ma make sure we fly. Oh. I'ma make sure we fly. Turn your phone up, baby. Turn your phone up. I'ma make sure we fly. I'ma make sure we fly. Tryna have a good time.